Okay, hello all you people out there. This is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and recently uh, someone on Resorty's forums has asked about a uh, chess game tutorial. And of course, me being me, I thought that was interesting, and that was uh, kind of occupying my mind for the rest of the day, and I eventually went and did it. And it was pretty interesting. Uh, fairly complicated, not as complicated as I thought it would be, but it's interesting. Um, so this uh, video here, and the next three I believe, is going to be a tutorial explaining how to do that. So, um, let's see, open up this, uh, that is my uh, practice file that I was originally messing around with. So, I'm using here, uh, GameMake 8.1 standard. You can do this in Studio, um, you can also do most of this in a 8.1 regular. Uh, there's just going to be, I believe, one line of code that should be, uh, that would be different for a regular, but, um, I'll cover that in, like, a, uh, I don't know, at the end of this video, or when it comes around to it, or something like that. So, let's see. Speaking of the original file that I was using this for, um, I will put a download link with all of that in the description. Um, this zip here, uh, you can go download that, have a look into it. Um, there may be a couple things that I did differently in that one that I did in this one, but I don't think there will be. But, you can have that. This is going to be kind of a long series, like I said, I believe it's going to be a total of four videos. Uh, this first one's going to be mostly set up with like drawing the board and drawing chess pieces and stuff like that. Also, for this tutorial, I'm going to be assuming that whoever's watching it is at least uh, fairly well-rounded in their knowledge of Game Maker language and uh, has read the manual hopefully cover to cover at least once. And I will be, I won't be explaining like this is a for loop, this is a while loop, this is an if statement, this is a function. I don't really want to be wasting time with that. If you want to go uh, have some tutorials with that, you can go and visit Wizardy. He's uh, pretty good at what he does. So anyway, uh, moving on, we need a room first, and I'm going to be calling this something other than room one because that's what I like to do. I'm going to call it main because public static void main and I'm Java. Um, let's see. So height is going to be 576. That's a little bit more square, it's better for drawing the chessboard in the window, I think. At least at a reasonable size, I don't want anything like a tiny little window um, for just drawing a chessboard and then being hard to see. Um, I also would like a background, because grey is absolutely bloody hideous. And let's not do that, because um, efficiency, and let's do that. And that's awkward, because it's scaled, so let's stretch it. Um, we also need a chessboard. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my naming convention is not what most people do. Most people do like object, board, and like sprite, chess piece, and script, do something, and font, draw something, or whatever. I don't like typing, and I do Java, so um, my objects and sometimes my rooms, depending, are uh, capital letters and everything else is pretty much lowercase level letters. Um, it works well enough. Um, Let's put the board object in there because I'm probably going to forget later. Uh, if you have a problem with my naming convention, just bother me in the comments and I'll probably try and help you a little bit more there. So anyway, um, let's see, what do we need to do to draw the board? You can have a sprite for this, and I expect a lot of people would, except I don't like doing that because I don't like having a lot of sprites because that tends to make the game file bigger than it really has to be. And um, a lot of the times a chess board sprite won't exactly be the right size for you to like draw the stuff and the squares won't be exactly the right size that you're looking for. So I'm just gonna do this manually. Uh, if you wanna if you want you can put all sorts of fancy graphics code over it to make it look fun and like a regular chessboard and made out of wood and all that fancy stuff. So the basic stuff, um, I uh, equals zero. I'm gonna have two uh, nested loops, and I'm declaring these variables local because um, if you're not careful with your uh, scope of your variables, they can't. I'm not, I'm not J. I'm not there yet. They can cause some weird problems that are can be hard to trace later in the uh, code. Uh, for J equals zero, J is less than eight. J plus equals one. I wish Game Maker eight would support the um, plus plus operator. I'm gonna line those up there. I think they actually did that in Studio. Let you do like J plus plus instead of J plus equals one for everything. Uh, one of the few things I like about Studio, if that's true, uh, that's a rant for another day. I don't like Studio. That's why I'm still using 8.1 in uh, the year of 2013. So anyway, that aside, I'm gonna have um, this conditional here. I if I mod two equals zero, and J mod two equals zero, or um, I'm gonna add more parentheses here just because I'm OCD. 
uh, i mod 2 equals 1, and, that's a question mark, and uh, j mod 2 equals 1. You may notice I make a lot of weird typos, but that's another day too. So, this is basically more on topic. Um, it's, it's going to be alternating the uh, colors of the, the uh, chessboard. We have two colors on our chessboard, of course, white and black. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing white and red here because my sprites are white and black and I don't really want them to be confusing like that because I have really lazy sprites. Um, draw set color C red else. Draw set color C white. And then once all that's done, we're going to be drawing the squares themselves. So draw rectangle. I spelled that wrong. C T A N G L E. Thank you, uh, code help. I I'm a I'm a computer science guy, people. I'm not English, so I'm going to be making a lot of spelling errors, I'm sure. Anyway, so how about 40 plus 64 times I? Uh, 40 plus 64 times J. That's going to be the uh, board positions for in relation to the loop, and the ending uh, coordinates of the rectangles are going to be uh, I plus one and uh, J plus 1, and uh, we don't want just an outline. See, there you go, I can't even spell the word false properly. And, uh, there's something kind of sitting on my keyboard, and yeah, well, that's also considering typos. So, that should be drawing the board on the screen, and once that loads, yes, we do have alternating red and white squares, so that's perfect. Next, Com Surrogate has stopped working. I love Windows 8.1. So next in the create event, we also need to have a um, something that represents the board for with all the pieces in it. So uh, once again, local variables i and j, and you know what? I'm being lazy. I'm just gonna copy and paste the uh, the nested for loops here and copy there because I don't like typing. And um, the curly braces and the uh, square brackets and all that are actually in a weird position on uh, Canadian multilingual. So that's another thing. Board. Like, I have to alt and line to get a square bracket. Anyway, board i, j equals no one. So, uh, this is just going to be setting up an 8x8 array. Uh, also named board, uh, lowercase, so I can tell between it and the, um, the object board. And it's going to be setting each of the, uh, indice each of the, uh, yeah, indices to no one. And that's pretty much like null in other programming languages. So, it, it just, GameMaker just knows that the uh, position exists and there's no object there. So now, uh, we have to assign pieces to the object, so I might as well go and create myself a nice uh, chess piece object, and give it a sprite, that's not where the pieces dot uh, sprite, so that's that. I'm actually going to be setting the origin to 0, 0 now, uh, and let's see, edit, I'm not sure, I also want the uh, size to be 64 by 64, which will be the size of the square. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> the implementation for the drawing pieces in the um, in the uh, first file I did is a little bit different, but whatever. So we now have a chess piece. This is just a generic chess piece. Uh, it's gonna have its sprite and the image speed is gonna be zero. So the um, it doesn't cycle through all the sub images uh, when you see the sprite because we don't want our chess pieces to do that. So now. Whoa, uh, zero, zero. Once again, typos. We're gonna be want to be uh, filling this board with chess pieces where necessary. Uh, this is just a generic pet chess piece, by the way. Like I said before, I'll be extending that to do, uh, yeah, literally extending that to um, have different kinds of pieces that we can just use later. Uh, right now, to fill the board, we can do instance, instance create, and some x position and some y position, but. Uh, later on, you'll be seeing that the uh, pieces actually need more than that. They need to be more than just created. So I'm going to be having this new script called uh, no piece, new piece there, and uh, x, y, y, piece, uh, type, some more local variables, and x, x equals argument 0, uh, y, y equals argument 1, uh, piece, type, Another one of my problems is that I type really fast, so I often hit like two keys at the same time, and I don't notice it, and yeah. So, uh, if you don't see what that's doing, um, I actually like to do uh, 
a Java-ish method signature on the top of my all my functions, so I can tell what they do if I forget. Uh, so this is gonna be new piece, and you're gonna be calling it with um, an X set position, a Y position, and a piece type, which is gonna be an object. So there's that. Um, I also am gonna want um, that, and no, not argument zero or whatever I was gonna type there. We're gonna be um, create an object, and the position that it's gonna be created in is gonna be related to um, these uh, x, x, and y, y are gonna be positions in the board matrix, uh, array, whatever you want to call it, and they're gonna be uh, the x and y position is gonna be related to um. Oops, yeah, Windows 8.1, this little icon at the bottom there. Uh, I think Windows 7 had that too, but anyway. So, the uh, physical position on the screen is going to be related to 40 times uh, 40, oops, plus, uh, so it's 4 times xx, is going to be related to, I can just say it without getting sidetracked, the arguments you pass it, which would be the position on the board, and um, you know, the y is going to be basically the same. Uh, 40 plus 64 times yy, okay, and the type is going to be piece type, and once again that's, um, I need a comma there, that's going to be the type of object, so if you don't get that I'll get there in a minute. So now we need to actually return the object, or return a reference to the object anyway, uh, so we can use it elsewhere and have a specific and use like the piece specifically instead of just the generic uh, chess piece object when we talk about it later in the code. So there's that. Um, I'm using this variable piece there instead of just saying return instance create that because uh, there's actually going to be more done to the chess pieces later. Let's see. So now we're back in the board. Uh, can say new piece and uh, that is going to happen to be a, a zero zero. And that's gonna just, gonna just be a generic chess piece for now. And let's see. Uh, right, I need to save that. No, that we're not gonna save it in my Pokemon folder. Um, dumb stuff because chess is dumb. Actually, I just didn't have any better place to dump it. And we're gonna be naming that because that's what it is. I just saved the game twice, didn't I? And now at position zero zero, uh, you have yourself a pawn. Fantastic. So uh, right now, you could probably find some way to do this through code, except that. I don't really feel like doing that, I just hard-coded this. Uh, you're going to be needing to create 31 more pieces to put on the board. Instead of just typing that out, because that's going to take forever, I already have that, and I'm just going to copy and paste it from a text file, and I don't really want to close it yet. Because, I mean, what if this uh, recording crashes again, like the first two times I did this? Thank you, uh, thank you, computer. So, let's see. That is all that. New syntax errors, and now we have um, all our chess pieces on the board. They're all pawns, they're all the same color, they don't do anything, and that's unfortunate. Uh, later in this tutorial, I will be getting to uh, how to make stuff do stuff. How to make stuff do stuff. I'm, um, I'm as articulate as always. But that's going to be a much longer story now. Like I said, this first video is just going to be set up. I kind of have uh, written down what I want to be doing later. Uh, like Part 2 is going to involve like making the chess pieces. They're different colors and they're different kinds of pieces. And um, hopefully a little bit of movement code, depending on how much time I have there. And so on. Yeah, I actually wrote down like what I want to do in each of the... Uh, each of these four videos. So I'm also going to have annotation links and annotation map to each of the different uh, videos in this tutorial at the top of the screen. So or at the side of the screen, depending on like how uh, how I decide the formatting should look when I'm editing this. So you can just go and uh, turn on your annotations, and then click on the buttons at the top of this video to go to uh, each of the videos. So if you want to like go back to this video at a from a later one, if you're confused about something, then you can do that. And if you want to skip the uh, Say if you want to skip part 3 for whatever reason and you want to go straight to part 4, uh, you can do that. But for now, um, I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. Uh, this is actually a very interesting problem to be working on in Game Maker. Uh, since, a lot, since most people just use Game Maker for just like doing, like, I don't know, Super Mario or Donkey Kong or whatever. And, um, I don't know, a space shooter. But I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, watch the rest of this uh, tutorial, please. And I will see you later.